Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about um, the 43% uh, reduction that the Labor government claims they have a uh, mandate to do. That's going to be the topic of tonight's report from Tiger Mountain. Stick around and listen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about the um, 43% reduction in emissions that the Labor Party would like to uh, bring in. Um, obviously, uh, the last election we had here in Australia was considered the, uh, I guess, the climate change election. I mean, obviously, there has been a few natural disasters that mainstream media and Labor Party have been blaming on uh, climate change. There were the bushfires before the COVID uh, nonsense started, and then there's been some floods. There was one about a year ago, and there's been uh, one very recently up in, up in Queensland and New South Wales that was pretty devastating. I mean, you know, uh, I mean, you know, we do, do we need to get into the topic of cloud seeding? I believe that, you know, these natural disasters can, particularly flooding, can be easily be created by um, just basically cloud seeding and creating, uh, you know, an excess of uh, uh, rain, which is going to flood certain regions, which they go, oh, it's climate change, whatever. But they feel they have some kind of mandate um, to push forward this kind of radical uh, agenda. Now, I mean, 43% reduction by 2030. I mean, what does that mean? Well, it probably means something like a 40 percent reduction in our economy just you know i mean probably doesn't mean exactly that but it's something like that ladies and gentlemen i mean you know it, again to me the climate change agenda it, it's about um it's punitive in the sense that it's like it's trying to punish the uh, economic prosperity of the first world um and basically to let countries like china and India um, do whatever the hell they like, mainly China, and that will they'll they'll produce all the goods in the world, and their economy will continue to boom while we impoverish ourselves. It makes absolutely no sense, as Alan Jones pointed out recently on Q and A. Um, you know, I mean, it's it's like point uh, zero. Uh, five percent or something or three five percent is what is the amount of um, CO2 in the atmosphere which is next to nothing anyway and that human beings only make up to a, somewhere between 20 and 40 percent of that you know three point you know point zero point zero three five percent and then Australia makes up for 1.5 of that so you've only got to do the math that I mean whatever Australia does is a complete nonsense and I've said this before on the report that you know it boggles the mind the level of stupidity to think that the Australian government is going to have any effect on the global um, weather whatever we do whether we were to remove every single carbon emission from Australia or we to double them it will make zero difference but anyway this madness this absolute madness is being pursued and uh, it's again a form of economic um, punishment in a why it's very similar to COVID, the COVID agenda, which was a kind of like, if you look at that, that's like the short con, you know, that's like, you know, where they punish you for a couple of years, they they limit um, the economy and they uh, they have a punitive kind of totalitarianism. But, you know, this one, um, the uh, climate agenda is, you know, goes on to 2030 and 2050. These are the dates they're talking about. That's the long con, ladies and gentlemen. So it's all about control. It's about making a lot of money from renewables that don't work while secretly still having to run, you know, gas and and um, coal-fired power stations, otherwise we're all going to be living in caves like the Aborigines did uh, 10,000 years ago, ladies and gentlemen. So it's all it's all ridiculous. Um, and you've got Albo flying around the world. Apparently, I saw this little factoid online. He's had 63 flights in 90 days. Well, that's how you combat uh, global warming, ladies and gentlemen. You have 63 flights on you know private jets uh, all around the world. You know, that's nothing. Nothing says um, uh, you know like stopping global warming like 63 uh, private uh, flights in private jets. So it's ridiculous. I mean, obviously, you've got the cost of living going up, you've got inflation, um, you know, and then now you're going to have our, um, you know, basically our, our food production and uh, farming industry and agricultural, agri agribusiness uh, are going to be under major threat from this absurd stupidity of reducing our carbon emissions by 43%, which, as I said, will be pointless on a global scale and will not stop global warming, even if it were, even if they're, the people who are the absolute hysterics about it are correct, which of course they aren't. So that's the report from Tiger Mountain.